When the military of the United States developed a space-based navigation system, they did not realize that their global positioning system, often called GPS for short, would spark a revolution in the agricultural community. But it was not long after the U.S. Congress voted to make GPS available to civilians that many useful applications for farming were explored. The results of this research gave birth to what some call precision farming. Others refer to this revolution as site-specific farming. The cornerstone that makes a revolution feasible is a GPS receiver attached to a computer which makes it possible to record your exact location on the surface of the Earth. Engineer and scientist Dave Tyler is the general manager of Ashtec's agricultural division in Belgrade, Montana. He is working to bring the many potential benefits of GPS to precision farming. Site-specific farming isn't new. Ag researchers have been working with these methods now for many years, but most of the work has been focused on small-scale plot research. GPS has really provided what was missing earlier. This is the keystone in the arch, so to speak, and it's now possible to take the work of ag researchers and apply it to large-scale work so that it can be used by producers. Small grain farming is considered to be at the crux of civilization. It began during a period of history that is referred to as the agricultural revolution. The advent of farming transformed mankind from a nomadic hunter into a domestic thinker and initiated the ascent of man which led step by step into the space age. It is a wonderful irony that satellites orbiting 10,000 miles from the Earth's surface, representing a high point in man's quest for understanding, are now poised to come full circle and revolutionize agriculture here on Earth. The critical feature of GPS is that these orbiting satellites are used to locate your position anywhere on Earth. The Ag Navigator combines a GPS receiver and a computer in a compact, sturdy, rugged case which can be mounted on a piece of agricultural equipment. As you move across the field, you can log your position and you can also collect data from a device such as a yield monitor. Since the Ag Navigator records your position as you move, it allows you to create a wide variety of maps for your fields. These maps will show you, for example, your field perimeters, topographical contours, and when a yield monitor is plugged into the Ag Navigator, yield maps. The Ag Navigator also allows you to identify a variety of attributes which you define. Whenever you're moving through a field, uh with a GPS unit operating and collecting data at regular intervals, you might as well map features in that field that you'll later want to, for your uh, analysis of the, of the field. For example, if there are weed patches out there and you're moving through the field on a combine, map those weed patches and you may be able to use this information later uh, to do spot spraying. Now the way we do this with the Ag Navigator is we attach a device we call a map stick to the Ag Navigator, which is simply a tool with three switches on it and we, uh, we designate each switch with one particular feature of the field or attribute which you choose to map. Now for instance one might be wild oat patches and as you entered a wild oat patch you would hit switch one and as you left the wild oat patch you would hit switch one again and during the intervals of data collection uh, between those two switch uh, switches you would be logging the positions of the wild oat patch. You might, uh, for example, designate the second switch as Canadian thistle and the third switch might be rock patches. And then again, as you entered those areas, you would designate that you were in those areas by hitting the switches and turning those tags on or off. Um, this is a very simple way to, uh, to map features as you move through the field doing some other task, but at the same time collecting data to compile a map of the weed patches, rock patches, or whatever. Creating maps from GPS information has significant implications in farm management. Janice Matson, a small grains farmer in Chester, Montana, has used Ashtec's Ag Navigator and has been moving towards site-specific farming for several years. The yield map provides me with a great amount of information uh, to use the following season. I can examine the differences in, that the yield map shows and yield variances. Um, I can look at the soil sample results 
from the soil probing that I've done via GPS to tell me what the fertilization needs are and then apply both the information from the yield map and my soil sampling results to determine where to put my fertilizer and, and how much. And returning to those same spots again the next year to soil sample because of the GPS, I can return to those same exact locations and I can look at the fertility and see how it has changed. So in essence, I'll have the opportunity to, to, to know my fields like I've just never known any of them before. Using the abilities provided by the Ag Navigator, soil sampling data is more reliable from year to year. Having a map of the exact location where samples have been taken is the key. Mike Shariki is an Ag consultant from Billings, Montana. He's been using the Ag Navigator to better serve his clients. Prior to having GPS to help him, Soil sampling data could be misleading since changes noted in soil samples could be caused by soil variability, making analysis difficult. The way we soil sample today, we're trying to generalize areas and try to, to pull soil samples off of the same areas in the field from year to year. But with the variability in the soil, you could be 200 feet off from where you sampled the last year and you could be in a different soil type and just the soil variability within the field can throw the data off from year to year. If you use GPS to generate yield maps, and then use the yield maps to generate the areas that you want to soil sample, well then you can go back to that place every year, sample the same spot. It's going to be better information. While sampling the same area is significant, being able to be specific with fertilizer requires accurate yield maps and the ability to translate that data into a plan that puts fertilizer down at the appropriate rates to match that variability. We've been talking most of the time up until now about collecting data and using the Ag Navigator as a data collector, but the Ag Navigator is also a machine controller in a sense. In other words, all of these features that you've mapped, whether they're weed patches, whether they're areas of high or low yield, or whether they're soils areas that require a particular nutrient or are already have a great deal of that nutrient, those layers can be put into a map which in turn is downloaded back into the Ag Navigator and the, the device then becomes a controller. As we move through a field, we may be sending information back to a sprayer, to a fertilizer spreader, or to a seeding unit um, to vary rates of applications of various uh, materials. Carl Matson is a site-specific small grains farmer in Chester, Montana. Working with his wife Janice, he's maintaining the viability of a farm that has been in his family for three generations. Well, I think the area of the herbicides is perhaps one that you'll see the, the first results in saving some input costs on your acreage. If you're farming 2,000 acres, for instance, and uh, you have some serious wild oat patches out there. Wild oat herbicides, you know, Fargo, for instance, you might be at the $12 per acre rate. Well, normally, if you have to do your whole farm, you're, you know, there's $20,000, $24,000 right there. But maybe the only serious oat problems are scattered about your farm, but only cover perhaps 50% of the actual acreage. In years past, you know, unless you had some system for finding these oat patches, you had no way to spot apply your, your chemicals. So two things happened. Number one, you either didn't go after the oats and you lost money. Or number two, you blanket uh, applied your, your Fargo to the whole entire 2,000 acres. Well now if you can find the spots, you can take that $24,000 uh, figure and you can reduce it in half to $12,000. There's an incredible savings right there. And this same uh, philosophy applies to almost any weed infestation that you have that's, that's local. The ability to collect data during harvest and then utilize that data during the planting season was at the heart of the philosophy behind the development of Aztec's Ag Navigator. Doug Roberts is the Director of Product Development in the Ag Division of Aztec. Our philosophy is not to leave the integration of all these various components up to the farmer, 
but integrate all those components so that the farmer can have a relatively easy turnkey system where he can go from his combine to his spray controller and not have to worry about how this cable connects to this box and is this the right baud rate and all these other things. The software that's involved in the Ag Navigator right now um, encompasses the full site specific management cycle where if we start at yield monitoring we allow the uh, user to um, interface with various uh, existing yield monitors, uh, Ag Leader, Microtrack, and then they can take that yield data um, and also go out and do soil sampling. So they can move the Ag Navigator from the combine onto a four-wheeler or a pickup truck or whatever they have their soil tester on. And then they can use that whole that same field they harvested, they can start doing their soil testing. And then from there we allow them to combine the data and start to look at how they want to perform fertilizer campaigns either in the fall or the spring. Um, and we offer communications with an array of variable controllers that are out there right now. So they can step through sort of the whole cycle or season of their uh, operation and literally move the Ag Navigator from one vehicle to the next vehicle and not have to worry about how does this hook up with air and, and, and how am I going to make this thing work with this device. We can build a product that will essentially encompass the whole year of tasks for a producer. Although I, I like computers and, and feel comfortable on the computer, I'm not a programmer. So then the issue became, how do I know that this GPS signal will talk to that controller and, and vice versa? And I didn't want to deal with that. So I continued to look for someone that could provide me with the whole picture. And that's what Aztec is providing to the producer, the GPS that talks to, the, to the, all the controllers that I am looking at buying and it provides the software service to export all that information and try to make the interface so that the producer feels comfortable. You, you can't buy an off-the-shelf product and work, work with agriculture and expect it to do the things simply for agriculture. To draw your yield maps to help you make your management decisions from maps and then in turn feed that information back to the computer to run the controllers the following growing season. Many farmers realize that GPS is going to require training, careful planning, and outside help until everything is up and running and becomes familiar. So it becomes important to choose a company that will provide you the support you need. I feel confident that no matter what we run into, that uh, Aztec will do whatever they can and will work a problem through. For me, that's, that's why I was drawn to them for the service that I know that they are wanting to provide and willing to provide. I firmly believe that Aztec will be the one company that provide all the services at the level that the producer will feel comfortable using. Another area of concern for many farmers shopping for GPS equipment is accuracy. The accuracy of a GPS receiver is partly tied to the differential corrections it can use. Many GPS receivers used in agriculture are accurate to within 10 feet. Many feel that this is not accurate enough for real precision applications. The problem has been that higher accuracy comes at a higher price. But the Ag Navigator changes all that. The Ag Navigator is a fully integrated GPS data analysis package that provides accuracy and it's affordable. The benefits of a more accurate system are many. In Saskatchewan last year, we learned that one of the primary uses that uh, folks want to make in that part of the country in agriculture of GPS is to control sprayers. Now when I say control sprayers, they want to guide the path of the sprayer or a predetermined route and minimize the gaps and overlaps between adjacent uh, paths. Now, they would like to control or reduce their overlap down to approximately 12 inches or one foot. And if you want to do that with GPS, you've got to have a unit that will deliver a precision or a positioning precision of about a foot. Uh, otherwise, of course, your gaps and overlaps will be much larger. It's too expensive today to be misapplying chemicals. If it's costing you $10,000 to spray a job and you're, you're overlapping 10%, there's $1,000. Agriculture is not lucrative enough to allow you to do that. But the other thing is that, you know, from my grandfather's time, 
to my father and down to me. We are working on the soil, we like the job, and we're not about to destroy our livelihood intentionally. The GPS gives us the ability now to take a good look at where we're applying herbicide, to cut down on oval spray, to locate exact weed or insect uh, infestations and, and apply the chemicals properly. Farm organizations throughout the United States are concerned with the environmental aspects, but probably no more concerned than the individual farmers are themselves in trying to do the best job possible. A lot of the farmers are you know, doing their best to show good stewardship, yet at the same time, until GPS was a real item, they, they were still doing what they were doing by the seat of their pants. You know, this gives you a tool to uh, be even more exact. We see a number of people who want to use GPS to be able to work uh, in the night. Uh, there are a number of reasons why it's often advantageous to be able to extend your spraying hours beyond the daylight hours. And in order to do that, and again to minimize the gaps and overlaps, you have to have some kind of a navigation device on your machine. The way most producers do this now is by using a full marker or other visual system. But with the 140-foot spray booms in use today, this is difficult in the daylight hours and it's virtually impossible at night. The Ag Navigator to us is going to be a tool that we'll be able to use all through the season. We'll be, we'll be seeding with it, we'll be spraying with it, we can use it for monitoring our yields and put all this information together which is very useful for fertilization. The parallel swathing ability, but once you get used to it, which takes just a matter of an hour or so, you can bring it right back on swath and you're headed back down a straight line. This uh, parallel swathing system gives us the ability to run at night, which we, we have tried with foam prior years and it's just impossible to run with foam at night. And this thing doesn't know the difference between daylight and darkness, it just guides you right on through. It's amazing. This technology is super. With its accuracy, we know that we're saving chemical, we're saving time, we feel that we're going to pay for the system in, in one year of use. Just as the internal combustion engine transformed farming from horse and plow to the adoption of tractors, so too GPS and computers are ushering in a new era of farming techniques. If GPS is in your future, then Aztec's Ag Navigator and support team are ready to help you begin. Providing you with accurate information, with software analysis, and helping you to reap the rewards that this revolution is making possible. With Ashtec and the Ag Navigator, site-specific farming is not a far-off reality. Ashtec's Ag Navigator is on the cutting edge of precision agriculture.